Today we're talking about the progress bar and specifically about the two different styles of progress bar. There's actually three different styles but the third style is pretty much useless unless you subclass it and do a bunch of monkey moves that are really more effort than they're worth. So effectively there's only two styles, block style and marquee style. And the main things we want to talk about in block style are three properties, minimum, maximum, and value, and a method called perform step. And the main thing we want to talk about in marquee style is just the marquee animation speed. By controlling marquee animation speed, you can pretty much do everything we're describing with the other four things in the previous style. In order to demo this, we're uh, using our old friend, the uh, the countdown timer, that was used essentially to demonstrate the timer component. So the main component in this program is actually not on the form, but in the component tray at the bottom, the T countdown timer. And if we we showed this in the video 101 a couple videos previously but just to go over it again when you uh, press the button start countdown we first of all check that there's something in the text box and make sure that it's not empty and then if it's not empty we use a convert dot two and thirty uh, two to convert it into a usable uh, integer number the global variable at the top called n num seconds and then we set the label equal to uh, the a string variation of the n num seconds, but it's zero comma zero colon d five, which basically pads zeros to the left. So we're always going to have five zeros and the number and however many digits it takes place on the right. And then we subtract uh, one from the number of seconds and then start the uh, countdown timer. And if we look at the uh, property of the countdown timer, the properties, we notice that the interval is set to 1,000, which intervals in milliseconds, so that means every second it's going to call its event, which it only has one, it's the tick event which we have in T countdown timer tick. So if we go back into uh, uh, the code behind and look at T countdown timer tick, we're basically once again converting the number of seconds to a string, setting that into the uh, label, and then subtracting one from it at, from the n num seconds. And then if n num seconds isn't less than zero, uh, we're basically just returning. If it is less than zero, we stop the uh, T countdown timer so that it won't keep getting called and going into negative seconds. And we pop up a message box that says time is up. So what we want to do with a progress bar is show the progress of how far along the uh, countdown timer is. So in order to do that, the first thing we need to do is get a progress bar. So we drag that over to the form. And then might as well make it pretty much the, the width of the form. and give this a meaningful name like uh, oh, I think I'm in advance give it a meaningful name like uh, uh, PB countdown progress PB being Hungarian nation notation for progress bar Now you notice the minimum value is zero and the maximum value right now is a hundred. And the value 
is set to zero. So one thing we want to do when we press our start countdown button is change the maximum value and we want to change it to the number of seconds. So do uh, pb dot value or not value but maximum equal to n num seconds. And then in the countdown timer tick event, we want to uh, take the PB value and set it equal to uh, plus uh, one. And also <coughs> up here, aside from putting a semicolon after that, we want to make the PV value equal to zero, which means no progress whatsoever. So if we save this and run it and then say put in 20 seconds and do start countdown, notice each tech, tick the uh, progress bar means moves uh, 1 20th of the bar since the maximum value was set to 20. And then when we hit the end of it, It is completely full and it says time out. And this actually works out because we have an exact value. But if it turns out we didn't have an exact value, uh, a problem with this would be that as soon as we went over 20, the program would bomb out and get an exception. So a better way of doing uh, uh, the advancing is to use uh, perform step. And then in the uh, the properties for the progress bar we want to make sure that the step is 1 instead of 10. So this will essentially do the same thing. When it performs a step, it will add 1 to value. But if it goes past 20, as it might, depending on if there's some contingencies, it won't give an error. It will just leave it at 100%. So if we save this and run it, and then do a start countdown, Oops, I forgot to put in a value. Good testing of that. Say make it 15 and then do a start countdown. Notice the progress bar advances the same way. But this time we're using perform step rather than adding a plus one to value. And hopefully it'll hit 100%. Yes, it did. A second style of progress bar is uh, marquee. And with marquee, it's actually inappropriate for this application because marquee assumes you don't really know how long the process is going to run. So it just shows a uh, color going across the bar for as long as it is running. That way it gives the user the feeling that something's going on and the program isn't just dead, but allows it to keep going for an indefinite period of time. And in this case, when we do the uh, start, we want to comment out the code that's relevant to block style. Do a control E C to comment it out. And this time say uh, PB progress uh, 
marquee animation speed equals uh, say 10. 10 is a pretty fast speed. The higher it goes, the slower it goes. So marquee animation speed 100 is quite a bit slower than a marquee anima animation speed 10. But the, the exception to that is anime marquee animation speed 0, which basically is not running at all. So we want to make sure that it actually is 0 when uh, the program starts so that it's not running as soon as the, the program loads. And then in order to stop it, uh, we're down here and when the number of seconds runs out, we want to say, we could say PB countdown progress dot marquee animation speed equals zero, which would stop it, but it would just freeze the green uh, slide where it is so that wouldn't be the effect we want so a better way of doing that would be to say PB countdown progress style equals the block which will both stop it and clear it oh wrong progress bar style dot blocks as uh, enumeration and then we want to get rid of the perform step here because that's part of the block code and not a uh, not part of the marquee type processing so uh, basically as soon as we take set the marquee animation speed to 10 it's going to start the bar going and it'll keep going until we stop it by changing the style to blocks. So when we come up here we also want to make sure that the initial marquee animation speed is not a hundred but zero. That way when the program starts up it won't immediately start the progress bar running but it'll wait until we push the button. So if we compile and run this code and move it more to the center and say give it 25 seconds and then do a start countdown you see the progress bar is sliding for as long as the process is running and we're assuming that we don't know how long the process will run although we actually do you know many ones we don't like we're doing a copy file and we have no long idea how long the copy will take. But when the tick uh, finally gets to less than zero and stops it, then we set the style to block and that stops the uh, progress bar from running. Well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video and learned a lot. And I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe.